All right. Well, hello, Michael Renau, and hello, Ram Fam, and everybody else. It's so good to be here. I am your co-host, Susan Gaitan, with our fourth episode of our Fired Up podcast. Hello, Michael. Hello, Susan. How are you? How is everything in beautiful California? Beautiful as always. I won't get into it. I won't get into specifics. I know no, 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 no. You know what? <laughs> At whatever you're going to say about the weather and everything else, all I'll say is I'm still a little bit under $5 a gallon for gas. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's shot, move on is that a cheap subject. shot? <laughs> let's move on to the next subject. Next, we? All right. Well, next subject is you know I just saw you a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to see you again next week, which is pretty exciting because uh, I love when we hang out yes, and do training yes. and travel. Oh. And we were just at Management by Fire and had the best time with. Oh my gosh. We had managers from literally Canada, Connecticut, Virginia, Arizona, Washington. We covered the whole country. And um, we just watched them. It was so cool, right? Watching them grow. It was incredible. It's incredible to uh, just not just train and facilitate, but to convene with them, to chat with them and, you know, to make friends at the end of the day. I mean, these guys end up becoming pals, you know, so it's it's just it's always a great time with um, with our sales managers and, and general managers in the industry. But, um, but yeah, we're going to be on the road again soon. And it was Lots interesting to hear what Canada is going through. I mean, it was like, you know, we had some dealers there from Canada and hearing how, you know, the things that we've here in the States have gotten hurdles that we've jumped they still have yet to jump when it comes to this post COVID, you know, coming out of this. And, and it was interesting to see how behind they are They've got um, a ways in that to COVID me. recovery. Definitely COVID recovery. Um, one of our managers had zero new cars on the ground. Yeah. He was there. So, yeah. and he kept know, complaining that America yeah. stole all his cars. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, we did. <laughs> I mean, I've had conversations with at least a couple of people that told me they were getting their used cars from up there. So yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. So interesting stuff. I'm I'm pumped up for today. We've got a very special guest who um, right. you know, this is this is, you know, we just started this podcast thing. We're sort of novices here. I mean, you and I are loads of fun and we have a lot of fun, but this is sort of new to us. And so we're introducing, we're going to be introducing some interesting guests on this show. Um, but the theme uh, and our guests line up very, very perfectly. So huh, how'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> it's like magic. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> magic of marketing. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've been talking about video and the power of video and, you know, how, you know, we've, we've had conversations about online leads and how those sort of get lost in the shuffle, but people really underestimate the power of video and using video to follow up in all areas of the variable side. So, um, we're going to be hearing from Margaret Henney, who is the marketing director at CoVideo, and she's just, she's a doll. She's tons of fun. Um, she's located right in the corporate office, this, the, the hub of CoVideo. And so she's got a lot of good stuff to share with us. I'll bring her on yeah. in just a minute. Wait, how about, can I, can I just share like the funny yeah. story of how, I mean, we joke like, oh, how did all this marketing like just fall together? But this actually did come about from a random meeting. Susan and I were in Indianapolis visiting clients oh a couple gosh, of weeks ago yes. and we're literally leaving. We moved our flight. We were supposed to leave in the evening. We changed our, we, we finished a little early. We changed our flight to get out around midday and we're at the airport, you know, not when we're supposed to be. And who comes walking over, but you know, a gentleman named Mike DeLong, who works for CoVideo, who's their sales, I think he's vice president of their sales, or, um, you know, he, he, Mike's been with CoVideo. He's a friend of, a very good friend of the Allen family. And we just bump into him yeah. right in the airport and just start this conversation about, you know, the things that we do together, you know, Alan Ram and CoVideo and how we partner and what we do for our clients and different things we can be doing. And, you know, the conversation comes here off of just a random meeting. So it was pretty cool. I, and she should be coming on just 
any moment here. So we'll look out for her. But um, I, I remember the moment we were at the airport in Indy. Um, we had just finished the Penske meeting and right. we were so pumped up. And, um, and then, you know, here comes this guy in the TSA line. So we always dread this TSA line, right? And I'm thinking like, who's this guy coming up and sneaking into the TSA line? And it's Mike DeLong. Hey, Hi, Margaret. Hi, how we're are telling you? the funny story about how Susan and I just randomly ran into Mike DeLong in the TSA line at Indianapolis airport and how I it led it. us to this great conversation that we're going to have today. Oh, oh, it was yeah. meant to be. Mm-hmm. Well, a very warm welcome to Margaret Henney. Hey, everyone. Welcome on the show. <laughs> very first time here. Um, I know that we all three just met. Uh, mm-hmm. And thank you, Mike DeLong, for uh, putting this together. But I am so pumped up to have you on the show today to uh, enlighten us, give us some tips, some insights. Um, you know, I, I love Covidio. We love Covidio just for being such Yay. supporters and, and <laughs> helping us to help the dealership community thrive. Now, I know so you guys nice. do a lot of other things outside of the auto dealership world, but we do. Today we are talking about video follow-up. Yeah. And I love it. So dealerships and automotive is where we got our start. It's our flagship. It is the heart and core of our company. So I always love bringing it back to automotive. Those are our people for sure. It's your home. It was your home. Yeah. Well, um, so a little bit about Margaret. I want to, because she's probably not going to brag about herself. So I won't. <laughs> no. um, not only are you, you match, you match her energy. She totally does. Doesn't she, Michael? Yeah, it's totally uh, you're, you've got, uh, you're always enthusiastic the couple of conversations I've had with you. And um, she lives in Indy. She is the marketing director for the entire company. Oh. Uh, and so she does a lot for them to promote them, to connect clients to their services and to really provide that impact for dealerships. Um, but a little bit about you. So you live with your boyfriend in Indy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love Indy. Us- I'm a hometown gal, born and raised in Indiana. <laughs> no way. How Were you born in outside of Indianapolis or in Indiana? Yeah, I was. So I'm born, uh, I'm from a small town called Monticello, which is about an hour and a half north of here, like 5,000 okay. people, real tiny. But then I came to Indianapolis and went to Butler University, go Bulldogs. Yeah. And then I just stayed ever since. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. And uh, you love to travel. In fact- yes. You've been to more than 30 countries. I, don't yes. even, I wasn't even born in this country and I've only been to <laughs> <laughs> so, Wait, and then, you born? What's that? Where were you born? I was born in El Salvador. I don't know this about you. I've been to El Salvador. It's been it's one of the Look countries I've been to. What? Yes, yep. yes. I was oh. in San Salvador like six years ago. Girlfriend. Oh my gosh. You're my new best friend. <laughs> no, you hear that? You if you're from that. El Salvador you, or visit, you will be Susan's best friend. I love it. <laughs> Michael, you don't understand. Not a lot of people go. To- no, oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Um, but if you do, you probably know exactly where to go. Yes. Right. Yes. So Black Sand Beaches, I bet. Totally. Yep. yep. Nailed it. Yep. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Um, and then you just got back from Spain. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh. It was so wonderful. My boyfriend and I went, we totally like ate our body weight in like seafood and great wine and just like soaked it up. I love Europe. It was awesome. And and how long did it take you to get used to eating dinner at 11 o'clock at night? Oh my God, Michael, I am (laughs) to bed early. And so I was like, espresso please because yeah. I was struggling I love my sleep but eventually we got on we got no, on no, you get on board so pretty crazy. quickly but You're like crazy. because nothing opens before 10 a.m no. right so there's no reason to get out of bed early around yes. between one and three everything closes and everyone takes a nap love and then yes. come like six o'clock you start going for some tapas and sangria yes. and then it just evol- it's like this roving dinner eating party that goes till like one in the morning which is like my ultimate favorite I don't I know it's like that's how I want to live my life right (laughs) I don't don't go to work before 10 a.m two hour break from one to three and by six o'clock we're already partying 
Dude, Europeans have it figured out. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, why we have not adopted to it. But no. here we are, American. Right, yeah, yeah. That's hey, there, you know. <laughs> Some what? adapting we, we've got to do, but. Um, not in this industry. <laughs> not in the car no, no, Right, right. And one little interesting fact that I read here, which I think is so cool. You thought I was going to forget about this one, didn't you? I kind of did, yeah. So <laughs> Margaret hoping. was a theater major. Yes. No okay. Way. So it kind of explains a lot for yeah. people who know me. Cause I like, I'm very enthusiastic. I love to be around people. I talk with my hands a bunch and I bring it up because my parents of course were like, what the hell are you going to do with a theater degree? And I was like, bum, 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 work at a video company and be on video all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? <laughs> how great is not that? Not that you have to have a theater degree to be on camera at all, but let's it's clarify. Sort of made it, yeah, yeah. Let's it's clarify. made it a lot easier for me, right. most because I'm kind of the the face of Co Video. I'm sure people have seen me. You know, maybe if you follow Co Video, I'm sure you've seen me and heard my very nasally Midwestern accent. So. <laughs> well, I think it's fun, and I'd follow you on TikTok. <laughs> well. Yeah. Hey, let me ask, you know, because you just kind of teed it up here, right? So yeah. you prefaced it. You don't have to be a theater major mm-hmm. to do video, right? We know that. Yeah. Here we are. None of us have, I mean, sure, we're drama, you know, we have drama degrees, <laughs> but no college gave it to us, yeah. um, right? But here we are doing video. We're very comfortable. If we were in a dealership today, the three of us would be obscenely comfortable with it. Yes. But there are people who are just not right? There are people who are in the dealership who are just like, you know, I'm shy. I got this funny mm-hmm. zit on my forehead. Yeah, I, I yeah. you know, I don't like the way my voice, you know, I'm nasally. I don't I, mind you, I'm picking out things all that I think about myself, right? <laughs> I'm nasally. I talk funny. I, you know, I, I don't always look right. I have no hair on my head. Like these are the things I think about before I shoot a video. So I shy away from it and I never do it. Right, what right. You, what's because I, I see it like Susan, I see this all the time, right? Where we oh. go into dealerships and there's two or three people who are fantastic, crush it on video, and then everyone else kind of disappears. Like, what's your advice to those dealers? Yeah, totally. Well, first of all, I, I always empathize because I'm like, hey, I get it. Being on video at first is like hearing yourself on voicemail times 10. Because just like you said, right? It's like, are those my mannerisms? Is that the way I look? Is that the way I talk and all of that? But ultimately, I I typically will ask dealers, I'm like, hey, answer me this. Like, are you better in person? Or are you better like when you're leaving voicemails and on email? And they're like, oh, in person, totally. I'm a real people person. I love to connect. And I'm like, bingo, baby. All I want to do is build that bridge for you because, you know, being in person, of course, is always the gold standard of communication, but we know that buyers are spending so much time online doing research that they don't have a chance often to build that face-to-face, you know, that, you know, knowing, liking, and trusting who they're doing business with. So I just want people to think of it as that connector between, you know, communicating in the virtual space and then eventually just getting them into the store. That's what it's all about. I love that you asked that, Michael, because I think that that is a challenge. I mean, you say you speak for yourself, but I think it's something that most people are uncomfortable with, you know, putting the camera in front of them. I mean, sure, we see the younger generations do it easily, but the auto industry is full of other generations. And so you know, it's, it's, it's important for them to know that them being themselves is what's going to ultimately appeal to other people. Right. Susan, you totally nailed it. That's, I always talk about authenticity with people because like, it's not about being someone that you're not. So like bringing that full personality, whatever that is, whatever that looks like, sounds like, you know, whatever, that's actually the best thing that you could possibly do. Because like, I tell people this a lot, like there's nothing relatable about perfectionism right? Like that's why we love to hate the people who are perfect and the people we connect with are the ones who are real, who we can see ourselves in a little bit. So those imperfections actually like help you out in video. I love that. 
that. Michael's writing it down, writing it down. <laughs> I'll give him credit. Listen, here's, that one. here's my rule, Margaret. I'm going to give you credit three times and then I own it. <laughs> I love it. It's all up for grabs. Okay, so um, we have we had another question for you and actually you sort of set the table um, for this one. Right. Uh, you know, tell us from your standpoint, because, you know, we hear video, 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 right? Mm -hmm. um, and even with our own content and material, we tend to attach this synonymously with online leads only, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this month, I really want to make it a point to let people know that, well, First of all, most people are online leads. They begin as such, right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> they yep. just some um, end up picking up the phone to call. Uh, but video can be so impactful with in-person prospects, phone yeah. prospects, uh, customers that are already in your database, appraisals, you know, wanting to buy their car, so many other areas. So tell yeah. us from your standpoint, the impact that you've seen video make with dealerships and maybe spotlight like a, you know, a dealership, a case study that you know of that has seen dramatic results. Totally. No, I, I love what you said, because it really does have to be a holistic approach using video in lots of different ways, because like every dealership and every salesman or woman has their own unique story to tell. So video is the best way to do that throughout the entire life cycle of your customers, whether they're like, you know, first time buyer or longtime customer who's having their car serviced over and over, but constantly getting in front of them to like, tell them that story to remind them who you are. Right. Like I even love it. I know a lot of times, I think a lot of salespeople are guilty of this. Like you make the sale, you move on to the next thing 100 all the time right you see it all the time they're like okay next oh, yeah. one of the most important things and like the, the easiest thing i can tell you to do is send a follow-up thank you video a personalized follow-up thank you video and at that same time use it to re request reviews and referrals yep. because those are the most watched videos because everybody loves to hear thank you right you're like oh wow thank you for your right. business that sounds so nice and any salesperson worth their salt is asking for referrals. That's the perfect time to do it. So that's one of the ways that I definitely see an impact being made for lots of dealerships. Love it. Now, what about for potential uh, customers? So shoppers mm -hmm. and leads, right? Yeah. Because, you know, I feel like we finally have gotten to the place in this industry where we are following up, right? Doing our due yep. diligence and following up. Totally. Um, but I think there's so much opportunity on the prospect side and how yeah. to use video to, you used a word the oh. other day. Did I? What was it? To warm your oh, lead. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I don't stole know. it from you already. So you almost oh, good. You already forgot, but you know, we think, and this goes in line with what you two were saying earlier is that we tend to forget, we sell a car and then we forget about that person. It's a one and done. Right. And yeah. so, um, I think when we don't, when we're not able to close right away, we also tend to forget about that person. Right. And you mentioned oh. using this to warm your leads and yes. cultivate and, you know, to keep them engaged with meaningful content that they love. And like, I'm telling you right now. So I think there's like, I think at this moment, like 80% of internet traffic is watching video. Like yep. that video is it. It's what buyers want. It's what they consume. It's what leaves an impact. So if you're looking for meaningful ways to have touch points with buyers, right? They've left the store. You want to bring those be backs back. Video is an amazing way to do that, right? Whether that's using canned videos over and over, that's okay. You can yeah, do that. That's, cool. that's like a hundred percent something we teach. Like you know, 65%, I read this stat, I heard this stat at Digital Dealer, 65% of people watch a test drive video on YouTube before yes. purchasing a car, 65%. So why aren't you one of those videos? You can reuse that video every time over and over and over and over a hundred times. Oh my gosh, Michael. Well, but I think people Holy. think they've got to film a right. new one for every They customer. think they have to reinvent the wheel every time. But like, like right. I teach, when we teach this section of training, 
you know, I tell people like, just do this, take your camera, stand in front of the car. Hey, look at this beautiful Sonata. Thank you so much for reaching out to us. Once I say that, you think I said your name already. Exactly. And also I'll give a shout out to one of our great partners. Wheels TV does those test drive videos. Yep. We've got an integration with them where we tell people like, Hey, do a really quick intro for that. You can merge it together with those wheels TVs videos and just say like, Hey, Susan, Hey, Michael, thanks for coming in or keep watching this video. It gives you a nice overview of the yeah. vehicle you're interested in. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Like it takes no time at all. And it feels super personalized to them. And I think I saw a stat too, that something like 56% of car buyers say that they would pay more for a better experience. Oh, and, of course. And, and think about it this way. with co-video, you tell me once you watch the video. So what's yeah. to stop me if I'm, if it's 11 o'clock in the morning, there's nothing going on in the dealership. It's before the lunch rush. Yeah. I see that the video I sent Susan just got open. I'm going to pick uh -huh. up the phone and call her right then because now I'm front of mind. Yep. I'm oh right God. there. I'm front of mind. I'm in your head. Now you're thinking about it. because five minutes from now, if I wait five minutes to call Susan, mm -mm. she's gone. She's off doing a half a dozen other things that have nothing to do with cars anymore. You got you know? it. You know, something else that's interesting too, because of course we're always thinking about the here and now and acting fast. And, and that's so important, but let's say you were working with a buyer. They were maybe just kind of looking around, right? You sent them a video three months down the road. If they watch that again, you're going to get a notification and you'd be like, oh, dang, it seems like Michael might be revisiting this. I'm going to call him and be like, hey, sorry, I know it sounds weird. I saw you watch my video. I'm wondering if you're ready to come back into the dealership. That's great service. That's huge. And you know what normally happens? That notification mm -hmm. pops up on the phone and you go, oh, this thing must be broken. There's no way this guy, I don't even know this guy's name. He must have been here a hundred years ago. Yep. That's well, what happens. And the problem yeah. is it's not what happens. It's now it's front of mind, whatever it was pushed there, buying, mm -hmm. you know, cycle down a little further down the road and boom, that's it. And that's, that's okay. Fruit. It is. Right, and I think right. right now, especially that there's a lot of folks that are not finding that one car that they might've had their yep. set on. And so that, that buying cycle might be a little mm -hmm. bit longer today, you know, yep. so don't lose hope. Keep checking yep. back. In some ways it should it, put them in something else completely. And the, yeah. yeah. And the buying cycle is funny right now. Like I, I don't think anyone who could say, Oh, the buying cycles, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 15 days, three days. I don't mm -hmm. think anyone knows because I think it all matters on what car you want. What are you looking at? What truck you want? It, it doesn't matter. There's so many factors now with inventory so and manufacturers that. Yeah. Uh, so many yeah. factors. All right. Yes. Let me bring us back just for a minute. Cause I know we could probably go another 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I do You're our timekeeper here, Susan. Yes, <laughs> I, well, I try, you know, I get lost sometimes myself, but, um, <laughs> So with the uh, notifications feature, I do want to clarify that this is through the CoVideo application. Mm -hmm. So if you're yeah. listening to this, make sure that you check out CoVideo.com. This is yeah. the feature that will allow you to film and record and those canned ones, personal ones, whatever, but that will notify you if uh, and when that shopper or that um, recipient receives and watches your video and even how much of it, it'll even tell you how engaged they were, which I love. I use it all the time. <laughs> and then something else, and I know you're going to bring this up later. I just want to remind you mm -hmm. wheels TV. I've mm -hmm. seen this and it's pretty freaking awesome. It's pretty Especially awesome. with now you've got, uh, sp just to clarify wheels TV is in the CoVideo application, but it is a feature that allows you to import specs, details, numbers, uh, you know, MPGs, all of this stuff for Run, any running video, footage of cars, model, everything. Yep. Yep. Uh, new and used. And so it is a tremendous feature. So don't forget to tell us about that. Um, and, you know, I guess we'll just, we'll roll into that now. Yeah. Well, I just recommend it's so it's a really easy entry point to video for people who are like, I'm not totally sure where to get started. Right. And we talk about that a lot. You know, people are a little bit, you know, nervous or shy or, or, or they're just, let's face it, kind of mules who are stubborn and don't want to change. Right. But they know they need <laughs> no, to not in this business. 
<laughs> but they know it. They hear it everywhere. They get how important it is. Wheels TV using that through COVID video is a very easy entry point to start using video and seeing some impact from it. And I, a lot of times that's all it takes is starting to see results, right? It's like, you know, being healthy. When you start to see those results, you're like, Ooh, that's kind of great. I want more of that, you know? So yeah, I, I think that that's a, a great point for people to start. That's very, very simple. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we um, have run out of time, unfortunately. Guys. No. But <laughs> I know. Wait, um, hang on. There's one cool feature. Sorry. So there's yeah. one cool feature that CoVideo started that we're going to partner with that I'd love to mention. Thank you. So Thank you. Co Margaret's going to tell us more about, but there's a teleprompter feature that's so cool yes. that you literally like a television news anchor. What, you know, it tells you exactly what to say on the screen, look right at the front of the camera and what we're doing. Well, really what Susan's doing, it's really cool. If we're going to put scripts, our Alan Ram scripts into the co-video teleprompter for our clients. Yeah, I love it's really it. Cool. And we're excited. So we're so excited. excited. Yeah, that just makes it so another easy point of entry, because again, when you're like, how do I start? What do I say? When do I send videos? And I will tell you one of the most important things that you can do if, if you know, sales leaders are listening right now is have a written out process and strategy where you're like, this is, you know, when this happens, then you send a video. When X happens, then you send a video, set that in stone let people know what the expectations are and hold them accountable by having those scripts in there. It's like, we've spelled it out for you, baby. Like do it here, here, and here, read your scripts, send it out. Uh, and it's a great way to get ramped up really quick. I'm so glad you guys are doing that. I'm oh, really it is. It, and did you notice how well he delegated that over to me? Isn't that <laughs> <I guess. laughs> I gave At least you get credit for it. No, what do you totally mean? Like I was like, it's no, so I'm great kidding. That you're doing this. Yeah. No, it's it. It is. That's it called is, leading. It is, <laughs> we're we're starting the project and just think about exactly what you just said. It's a no brainer. You get in front of a camera and you're looking at the words. You don't have to think or get too creative. It's all there with, you know, the, the co video app. And so, um, we couldn't make it any easier for your team, for your reps, for your BDC reps to use the feature, um, to close it off. I want you to tell us what else I want you to take a minute to plug a co video yeah. and Let's get because this is such about a what's up and coming. Yeah, and COVID. I just want to say, like the relationship that our company has had with your company has just been fantastic over the years, and so to be able to, um, you know, give COVID a platform to say all the amazing things that are in the horizon, like we can fully endorse it because we know they're great. Um, the company has been great. It's been consistent. It's been a huge lift for the auto industry. So you know, brag away. You you guys deserve oh. it. Stop. Now I'm and a pioneer so and a pioneer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for saying that, Michael. It really means a whole lot, you know, especially coming from, you know, such a valuable partner who knows the auto space like we do, right? Like we're so passionate. Yeah about helping people be them be their best selves. So uh, the thing that we are really, really excited about that is coming out this summer, it is called CoVideo Dealer Services. It's going to be a new suite of solutions, video solutions for every department of dealerships. Of course, we've always been in sales, but now uh, for service and for marketing as well. So again, just thinking about that holistic approach where people can use video okay. throughout the entire life cycle of their customers and buyers buyers and really putting like their brand, their face, their voice in front of buyers at every single point and, you know, differentiating themselves from the competition while putting your people first, because I'm willing to bet that your people are probably your greatest asset and biggest differentiator. So lead with your people and video is a great way to do that. I love it. I'll get off my soapbox now. <laughs> oh, it was worth it because you're right. There's so many products out there now that are like, okay, this is video for service and this is video for sales and this is right. video for this and this is video for that. And now say, no, 
You don't need eight products. You just have our one product and it all rolls right into here. So your, your technicians can take video of brakes underneath a car and your advisor can send it out. And the service drive can talk about the new cars that are there and roll them into sales and back and forth. Or under the hood, those under the hood. Yes, totally. Awesome. I've seen those for the service department. There's no doubt that video is the standard today. So, you know, this, this subject, this topic here, our message here is not, you know, listen, video is the next best thing. No, it is the, the, the train has left the station folks. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. (laughs) make sure you're on it because this is what your competitors are doing or will be doing very soon. And so let's stay ahead of the curve. Margaret, you are a doll. We oh. are back here any day. Um, thank, you. thank you for visiting us, for being our very first guest speaker on Fired Up. And um, yeah, we will yeah. be in touch. Definitely. Hopefully we'll meet you in the TSA line one day. <laughs> oh, you never know. Right? In the airport, I'm sure. <laughs> Michael and Susan, thank you so much. It thank was such you. fun getting thank on you. here. So. All right, we'll yeah. see you soon. Bye, Thanks, guys. Margaret. Thanks for taking the time. We appreciate it. Bye, Margaret. All right. Now we got rid of her. (laughs) (laughs) That Um, was fun. That was great. That was, that that was really nice. I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as we did. And, and she's, you know, listen, at the end of the day, she's, she's real. She's a good person. She loves helping folks. She loves helping the dealer community like we do. So thank you to CoVideo. And all of the great team at CoVideo for your ongoing help. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things just to close this off. We have about five minutes left, maybe a little bit less. Um, So there is a contest. Yeah, you have a big announcement to make. You have a big, and we we probably should have done it with Margaret because they're sponsoring this awesome contest, but I'm going to let you announce it. We ran out of time, but for the month of June, uh, you want to look out, look out on our social pages, but also on our subscription platform. We will be having a video contest. We're putting up a lot of money. I hear it's hundreds. I heard it's pushing a thousand. <laughs> There's a lot of money up for grabs, um, but all we're asking is for you to send your best COVID follow up. Uh, and, uh, and your most creative. Does it have to so, be follow up? Can I do an outbound, you know, no, to- you can now, and let me clarify any part of the dealership. So, uh, sales follow up. It could be with a lead. It could be with a no show. It could be with an unsold. It could be with a, uh, a current customer you're trying to get back in. Maybe you're doing some equity mining. Um, maybe you want to appraise their car. You're hooking that trade and you want to, you know, send them a nice message and let them know, Hey, listen, whether you buy a car from us or not, and I hope you do, but even if you don't, any sort of video follow-up on the sales end is what we want to see. Remember, this tool is amazing uh, to not only warm your leads, sell more cars, but also to retain customers and get them back in. And that's what it's all about these days, guys. That's what the competition is. So 100%. Um, so yeah. Look and where can they send that. these videos to? So the videos will be going and I'll have everything posted. In fact, we'll, we'll make sure to post it along with the podcast when it's, cool. when it's posted up, but I believe it's covideo at alanram.com. So very simple, send your videos to covideo at alanram.com. It's got to be an MP4, please. No links. And, um, and so that's that. So look out for the video contest and that will be ending June 30th. So last day to submit will be the last day of June, June 30th. Cool. Um, I wanted to ask you to tell us a little bit about the new app. I know that it is like almost out. It's almost out. It'll probably be out probably like two months away. We'll probably be here at the, probably sometime over the summer. And it's going to be awesome. This app is going to allow you to listen to our training um, in the car while you're traveling. It's going to allow you to participate in the training on your phone, tablet. It'll be available in the Google store. It will be available in the Apple store. It takes the entire platform that you've been using at your desktop and allows you to train whenever, wherever you want on your mobile device built into your phone. Again, you can listen to it in the car. You can listen to it while you're on the boat this summer, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. 
You can enjoy listening and doing your training. It doesn't have to be just sitting at your desk at the dealership. Let me ask you, could I use that application while I'm on the phone making calls or receiving or grabbing a phone We call? will have that. That is definitely coming our way. And that will probably be here by the end of the year. That we're going to have the original platform out first, and then we're going to have an interactive version come out after. Awesome. Awesome. Can't All right. Wait it's really going to be some cool AI technology that will be built into that. I love it. I love it. And um, last, but certainly not least, look out for new and re redesigned content. We are yeah. working with one of our partners, Mr. Tyler Hurd. Big shout out to Tyler over at the Penske Central Group. Um, we, you know, the Penske Central Group have been partners of ours for quite a while, and he is on our council. And so uh, we're working together with them to build uh, and redesign some brand new content. So taking Alan's original, the, 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 the great classic stuff that we know works, um, and making and updating, making it relevant for today's market so that you can use that stuff with today's shoppers. So uh, new courses, new filmed courses, um, it'll have a brand new sort of certification program we're building around it to formalize and give each user a path, right? A, a training journey and a path to, to so get great. to higher levels. So it's going to be pretty awesome. So look out for that. It's always fun with you, Michael. And we always have a blast, right? I mean, what a great guest we had today. Yeah, so, awesome. you know, get out there. Listen, CoVideo is giving us $500 to give away. We're adding $500 on top, on top of it. Susan's going to get an email out to everybody. We're going to post it along with this. What first place, second place, third place, and so on is going to win. Get your contests in. It is, is an advantage to be a client of ours, to be participate in this contest, to work with CoVideo. Um, you know, get out there, earn some money. We're giving you away some free money. Submit it. CoVideo at allenram.com. Love it. Well, listen, thanks again for your Thank time. You. I'll see you very soon here. And just I'll see you days. in Florida on Sunday. And that's a wrap. Yeah. All right. Bye, thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful week, Ram Fam, and a great June. And we'll see you next month. Awesome.